Welcome back to Ismail Musa TV. Okay, good afternoon, good evening, class. Good morning, and good afternoon. Well, it depends on what time you're watching. Anyway, this uh, video is part two of the Peva Nazi and the Golden Ratio, right? Now, uh, in the previous video, we were able to identify that this sequence. One, one, two, three, five, eight, and so on and so forth is actually a Pavonazzi sequence. Okay? And you will notice that of these numbers, only one and 144 are perfect squares. Now, the numbers in this sequence are called Fibonacci numbers. Well, that's in reference to the the one who discovered this Fibonacci number, uh, Leonardo the Leonardo Fibonacci. Okay, Leonardo Fibonacci actually uh, in uh, wished to solve a problem about rabbits, and the pattern that identified this is one. No? The number of pair of rabbits for any month after the first two months can be determined by adding the number of pairs of rabbits in each of the two previous months. Okay? So, these patterns will produce us actually a Fibonacci sequence which is infinite. So, except for the first two, which is one, each number in the sequence is the sum of the two numbers before it. Okay? Now, Fibonacci number class can be is will will denote each Fibonacci number by using the letter capital F you know, for Fibonacci and a subscript that indicates the position. So the subscript indicates the position of the number in the sequence. In other words, uh, the first Fibonacci number, which is F sub one, is equal to one, and the second Fibonacci number is F sub two also equal to 1. The third Fibonacci number is 2 and the tenth Fibonacci number is F10 which is actually 55. Now, well, uh, if we uh, we may not know yet the, the numerical value of the 100th Fibonacci number but at least uh, using this notation we can say that the, the 100th Fibonacci number is F sub 100, right? So, we will say that a generic Fibonacci number is usually written as F sub N, where N represents a generic position. Now, if we want to describe the Fibonacci number that comes before F sub N, we write F, F N minus 1, yeah? F n minus 1. No? So the Fibonacci number for two places before f sub n is f sub n minus 2. And so on. Clearly, this notation allow us to describe no, the relations among the Fibonacci numbers in a clear and concise way that would be hard to match by just using the words. Okay? Now, uh, on this, we could come up with a Fibonacci number uh, a Fibonacci number class is actually a Fibonacci number is equal the sum of the two preceding Fibonacci number. Uh, this is the rule. The rule of the Fibonacci number. Uh, it's called the recursive rule. No? Because it defines a number in the sequence using earlier numbers in the sequence. Using subscript notation, uh, the above recursive rule can be expressed by the simple and concise formula. So, mathematically, we will write the Fibonacci number, uh, the nth term, as the nth number rather, as F sub n equals to the sum of the preceding numbers, which is F sub n minus 1 plus F sub n minus 2. Okay? However, uh, they're still missing because... This formula 
f sub n minus 1 and plus f sub n minus 2 requires two consecutive Fibonacci numbers before it can be used and therefore cannot be applied to generate the first two Fibonacci numbers. Because f sub 1 and f sub 2 is actually 1. Diba? So we will say that the first two values serve as anchors for the recursive rule and are called the seeds of the Fibonacci sequence. Therefore, we have this new definition that uh, a Fibonacci number must be defined using a recursive definition. Uh, and we say that F sub 1 and F sub 2 is equal to 1. So this is the first two Fibonacci number. And we call them the seeds. Okay. So what will be the recursive rule? F sub n is equal to the, the sum of the preceding Fibonacci number. Okay? So with that, we could generate the sequence like this. no? So the first two Fibonacci number, when you add, will provide the third. Okay? Now, the second plus the third Fibonacci number will give you the next Fibonacci number, which is the fourth Fibonacci number. Huh? Why the fourth? Because this is the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. This one is the fifth, the sixth, the seventh Fibonacci number, the eighth, the ninth, and the tenth Fibonacci number. So that's why we say that F sub 10 is 55. I hope it's clear no, how we generate the Fibonacci number. So to make it more clearer, I'll present this sequence, okay? So that's how we generate the Fibonacci number. By simply uh, adding the first two preceding number, you get the the, 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 the Fibonacci number. You add the, the previous preceding number, you get three. Next, this one is two plus three, you get five. Three plus five, you get eight. Five plus eight, you get 13, and so on and so forth, okay? So with this sequence, we could have the first 29 Fibonacci numbers are, okay? You can just read them, okay? Now, earlier, we, we say that we can describe as the 100 Fibonacci number as F sub 100. The question is, what is F sub 100? And definitely, uh, by recursive definition, it's actually F sub 100 is equal to F sub 99 plus F, F sub 98. Okay? The question is, what if F sub 99? And what is F sub 98? And that's what we do not know also. So, thanks to Leonard Euler. In 1736, Leonard Euler discovered a formula for the Fibonacci numbers that does not rely on the previous uh Fibonacci numbers. However, this formula was lost and yet it was rediscovered a hundred years later by French mathematician and astronomer Jacques Binet. Jacques Binet. Who somehow ended up getting all the credit. So today, we call this formula as the Binet formula. Oh, that, that's actually Chakes. Philippe Marie Binet. Huh? So this is the formula. Huh? This is the formula for finding the Fibonacci number. So if you want to find F sub 100, so simply substitute your N here by 100. Okay? Then you do the computation. Of course, it will really be difficult doing it manually. So we have to adapt a programmable calculator. Huh? Sometimes we call it a scientific calculator. Following this step, now following this step, you can determine the F100. Okay? You follow? Let us say, uh, let's find uh, in a calculator, no? a scientific calculator. All right. So let's say we have, okay. This this calculator is a good calculator. No? We have 
2.0 calculator. So it says that the, the Fibonacci number can just be obtained by finding the, the sum of the square root of 5. That will give us 3.26. Okay. Then divide this by 2. So this it will give us one point six one eight zero so on and so forth. No, this is actually the golden ratio. Uh, this is the golden ratio. Okay. Now raising this to one hundred third one hundred. We are looking for the one hundred. Okay. So that will give us seven hundred ninety two so on and so forth. Okay. What is this? Thousand. Millions, billions, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion, and whatever. Okay. So divide this by the square root of five. So so basically, this will be more or less. No, this is the Fibonacci number. Okay. 354, 224, 848, 178, 261, 954, 380, more or less. Okay. So, now, uh, however, it can also be this way. So, you have there the Fibonacci number, no? And that is equivalent to. 354 This is more accurate. All right. In this case, the decimal part is so tiny that the calculator will not show it. So the number already shows up as a whole number, and we are done. Right? So why why really Fibonacci numbers are so special? Fibonacci are so special because uh, different natures ex no there are there are Fibonacci numbers that can be expressed in nature just like in this lilies and irises have three petals so 3 5 8 13 21 34 55 89 these are Fibonacci number now this one is also another no uh, Fibonacci numbers also appear Consistently in conifer seeds at roots. The bracts in a pine coat, for example, is a spiral in two different directions, which is in 8 and 13 rows. That also are Fibonacci number. Okay. The seeds in the center of a sunflower spiral in 55 and 89 rows. Is it coincidence? I think not. Okay. So Fibonacci numbers in nature. So many are... No? In Buttercup, Buttercup, in Cosmo, there is Fibonacci number. Okay? The center of a sunflower of Fibonacci numbers are arranged in rows. The starfish, the sun dollar, the lemon. Okay? Tell us something about these special numbers. Okay? I hope uh, you learned something, uh, especially on... Finding the f nth number of a f nth as the Fibonacci number using the uh, Binet Binet formula. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, good day.